twenty dollars for that one, Kayla. Would you maybe want to buy that if you could save your money for it? You think? Kayla, is that something you might want to buy one day? Maybe? It's $20 and you get to save your money for a few weeks. Pop. Hey, come here. What you want? Yeah. Hey, what's up? Maybe still deciding, man? Some of my life stuff. So you have eight dollars, is it? Eight dollars and fifty cents. So you could either spend all of it now, or you could wait a week and then you'll have more money that you earn, and then buy something bigger. But there's yeah. something that you want. You're gonna, you're gonna wait. It's up to you, babe. Okay. And Kayla, you're gonna get that. Yeah. And some of those are good deals on clearance. Five dollars, right? Yeah. Alright everybody, I just wanted to explain why I showed that video. That was actually live footage, I didn't have it any scripted or whatsoever. Um, so I took my two daughters to Walmart, uh, today's Sunday, and on Sunday mornings we tally up how many chores they've earned based on the number of magnets that they uh, receive each day for the chores they do. They get uh, 10 cents per magnet, so they earned about $5 for the week. So I took them to Walmart, I, I asked them where do you want to go, and they went there. Now, again, the actual video that I showed earlier was unscripted. I literally just filmed them to see what they were thinking and doing. Um, I, Michaela, my younger daughter, which actually went to the clearance aisle, and we found the um, Hatchimals surprise, you know, eggs and toys that they have there, and it was $5. She had enough money for it, so she ended up buying it. Avery, my older one, was deciding between a LOL surprise, these little box balls that you mystery, you don't know what you're going to get, and a more expensive item for her doll collection. She had $8.50 available, because she had a little bit from the week before. She could have bought the um, little ball, magic ball thing, I think it was $6, and she actually did the math, she said it was about $2 left over, but she really wanted the stuff for her dolls that cost over $10. So I told her earlier, it's like, if you want to, you could save your money now, next week she'll earn more money, and then she could buy the whole thing, or she could buy the cheaper item. And then she decided to wait like you saw in the video. So a few of the key points that I've noticed from this is give your kids options. It's okay if they decide to buy a certain thing. They might regret certain items, or they might not, but then they have to deal with the situation there. Maybe they could think a little bit more about the purchases that they make when they do that. Um, also, for budgeting your purposes, she knew that she's going to be making a few more dollars every week. So by next week, she knew that 8 plus 2, and she'll make at least $2 this week, equals 10. And she'll have enough money for her item. So it helps for long-term planning. Let them decide what they want to do. I was not trying to stray or lead her towards one or the other but I tried to make her make the decision for it. And then she'll get her experiences from that, figuring out, well, I did like this item or I didn't particularly like it. And then you regroup from later on on that. Now oh, my birds are helping me here. So by doing these little, exper little life lessons and experiences will help later on in life. I think that it's a good idea to start when they're pretty young. If you have any kids from between four, even older, I think you could start the basics of it. Once they get a little older, six, seven, then you could get a little bit more money going into it if you are able to do so, and then let them decide on different purchases. Um, we also did buy clothes yesterday for our kids, and we told them beforehand, we're gonna get something reasonable. You don't have to worry about the price on it, but we're gonna pay for it ourselves. We didn't have them actually buy them yet. As your students, or sorry, your kids get older, maybe 13, 15 or so, you could start deciding maybe we'll buy your shirts, but you could buy your pants or buy a certain percent of the things that you want and then let them decide as well. So as they're getting more and more used to making these purchases, you could make more options for the kids and then they get more responsibility in that regard too. So if you haven't yet, in the link down below, I left the free ebook. All you gotta do is enter your email address and there's no catches or anything like that. You'll be getting it in a Google Doc file. So check your email, it'll be under investing teacher. 
and I'll be doing a pretty regular series on how to teach your kids about money in the future. I'll be going more in detail about different sections of the book. And if you have any questions or any thoughts like that, let me know. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Have a good one. Like, subscribe, hit the smash button, all that good stuff.